right here. Boom! Look at that hair growing. And does it look like he got taller too? Aloha everybody, I am Lehua and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and I stream on Twitch and TikTok at Lehua Superfina. Today, we are going to do a reaction to that time I got reincarnated as a slime isekai chronicles anime opening trailer. Yes, I had to read over here to make sure that I'm saying it correctly because it is a long name and... I wanted to make sure that it's called it correctly because it's an anime opening trailer. This is not really an anime. It's an RPG based off an anime. Yes, yes. That's what I'm talking about. That's why I had to like look to make sure it was like the right title and whatnot. So if you guys don't know, Bandai Namco is going to publish an RPG of that time, I got reincarnated as a slime. And it is called Isekai Chronicles. The mobile game is called Isekai Memories. This one is called Isekai Chronicles. And we're gonna see the opening for the RPG. Alrighty, we got the sunrise walking towards the out overlook of the village. We got the memories going on, kind of like recapping what happened in the past. Got the goblins, got Ranga, got the Oni, got the lizardmen, dryads, the village, everybody celebrating, festivals. Oh, this is the Goblin Revenge arc. And then we had the Otherworlders. Ooh, I'm getting like chicken skin seeing all these Onis. Yes. Yo, this is looking so epic. Oh my gosh, he evolved more! Oh, so cute. Slice of life stuff. Love it. And the song. Yeah. Banger. Oh. Everybody running together. That is interesting. Yes. All right. So we got like August 8th. Yes. Okay, over here, well, we got new adventures starter kit. Oh, let me just go a little bit further. There we go. Pretty. Yes. Uh, let's see. Early unlock item for building enhancement. Remove burger. Curry muru. I believe we saw this before with like the this teaser. Construction currency. Yes, yes, yes. We got all that. Any more? I think that's about it. Oh, here we go. And we got the DLC. Yes, we saw that before. And I think that's it. Yeah. Right? Yes, thank you, Bandai Namgo. So now that we did the reaction, I want to kind of go over this kind of opening trailer just to like give us like a sneak peek of what's going on. So as we see over here, we see him looking over the... Uh, Druid Tempest Federation. And uh, does it like kind of show how developed it is from this overlook? Not really. However, we do have a kind of zoom in on them working, building up the the city, the village, the city. It's actually becoming a city. Let's see. Let's go fast forward. And I should turn off the volume here here we go so that is the top of the his mansion his home this is where he has his meetings it looks like this is in between the holy war and season three i think it looks like they're well it seems like the game is going to go over the whole story from where he met the ogres oni and to the war with falmouth and the holy nation 
So let's see over here. So we got the memories. Let's turn on the music for this. So this is the part where I think they're going kaijin at one point. So over here, we got at the top right work, kind of behind me, that's Minimaru. And on the left side, that is the Ranga's pack. And then on the bottom right is Geld, the, the orcs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're seeing the memories of all that. How everybody came together. We got the hobgoblins here. Yes. And then we got these guys showing up. And it's showcasing everybody that Rimus have met. I and it seems like kind of like in order. And we got the these guys over here, dragon eats, lizardmen. And then we got the orcs, the dwarves. Yes. And we got the dryad sisters. And over here, we were seeing the building of the Dura Tempest Federation. And then we got the party. All celebrating, having fun. So this part here, I'm wondering when this was sh is being showcased. Is this after he becomes a demon lord? Like after he evolves, awakens, you know? <laughs> and then, ooh, over here, look at this devastation over here. Look at these goblins, hobgoblins. These guys look like they got evolved. And then it looks like they got massacred. There's some swords. So it's like, who attacked them? And then we got to this guy. Supposedly, he looks like the only one who survived. Right here. Oh, he looks devastated. He's holding someone. You can just feel, see his devastation, and now his anger, his eyes are glowing red, yo. And then we got these other worlders. I thought there was only one, the girl, who kind of looks like Rimuru's student. I almost mistook her for her, you know, thinking, oh, wait, is this like time paradox kind of thing? But it's not. And then we got this guy who's like next to her. So it's like, okay, is he a other worlder? I think he is because it looks like he's wearing a uniform. All right, so that part we're seeing that that's where Rimuru kind of took over that area where the orcs were, and he's bringing life back into the land so it can be, um, people can live there. So is that like a reflection of that feature in the game where we're going to build Jura Tempest Federation? You know what I mean, Jello Bean? And here, I think they're showcasing all the moves that we'll be using while playing the game. Right? Because, yo, that would be amazing. That would be so epic. Oh, so exciting. Because in the mobile game, Isekai Memories... Yo, those cutscenes where they do their final attack, their bangers, ooh, so good. The animation, the graphics is amazing. To see it in a RPG game on consoles in different game systems on a big screen TV will be amazing. I mean, with Isekai Memories, you can already play like on PC, but just to see it kind of like in motion, like we're building up to it with like all the melee attacks, all the, you know what I mean? You're building up the gauge. I'm hoping we're building up a gauge. And then we get attacked. Sorry, I like RPGs. I 
I get super into it. I think I'm going to play some after this because I'm so hyped. But anyways, I'm going off topic. But the mobile game is really turn-based and you're just like waiting and waiting. You're building that up. You're building up that gauge to do that ultimate attack. So yeah, very exciting to see that flow. Like you're building up to it. And I'm like, turn, turn, being strategic about it. So I'm excited to see these attacks. Oh, this one, this part, yo. Oh my goodness, you see this guy? He is, he just went over here. He's got like some type of thing inside of him. Is that the fire burning in his heart? Energizing his revenge? Hiring it up, giving him that drive? This part over here, and he's got two weapons. He's got an axe on the left hand. He's got like some type of like a machete on the right hand. It's like, bruh, are you just using all the tools from your village? Are you using the tools from your comrades? You're like, I will carry their will, carry out this revenge for my comrades by using their own tools. I mean, that would be super symbolic if that's true. Or it could also mean that he was just a regular worker in his village and he became the sole survivor of whatever massacre happened. And um, these were are his tools. He's like, I'm not going to use any other ones. I'm not going to upgrade. I'm going to use the ones that I've always had. This is part of my core, who I am. This represents who I am from my village. And this is how I'm going to carry out my revenge. Oh, I don't know. I'm already just thinking of a story behind all of this. <laughs> and over here, I'm wondering, why are they showcasing the fire in his chest like i said i already talked about his heart his drive his will but what if it's something else what if he was given some power and this is like a double-edged sword where it, if he uses this will this kill him at the same time like depleting his life source let's just kind of let it play and see him transform because yo that looks amazing give me some of that dragon ball z where they're transforming into super saiyan 3 kind of stuff right here boom look at that hair growing and does it look like he got taller too let's look at that i'm just so fascinated with this because i didn't think this was gonna happen like, can we just go a little bit far back? We're over here. Look at that. He handsome already for a goblin. <laughs> Hobgoblin. Like, dang. I wonder if they're going to do like a romance between him and the other world. Or I don't know. It could happen. So we got him. He's got fire burning his chest. Explosion. Invoking whatever power. Kind of like going... Ah! like he's transforming in super hobgoblin and then yeah it kind of looks like he's growing because you know how like some hobgoblins they look kind of stocky let me just turn off the music so we're not just overwhelmed by it so see see his torso it's kind of matches with his armor i believe it look kind of looks like leather armor maybe it's metal anyways it looks like it's matching with like the shortness of his torso don't even know if it's short or not but it looks it and then let me just see over here oh yeah we can see like he's slimmed down like he's getting like that um i want to I want to use like Baki or Kengen Ashura as an example because when you see those fighters' physiques, oh my goodness, no fat at all and just pure muscle. And they kind of have like a swimmer's body where it's like broad in the shoulders, triangle down, slim waist, and then they have their hips, but it's just muscle, not 
you know, fat, making it like all nicely shaped and whatnot. Over here, kind of giving me Benimaru vibes with this physique here. Let's see if they are showing more. Like, okay, so that was it with the superpower. But over here, yo, this part giving me Inuyasha Shishomaru vibes. Oh, yes. <laughs> he was my crush from Inuyasha. Yeah, so this part giving me such badass vibes. He's like, I am here for revenge. I got a vendetta. I am here to kill. Do not get in my way. This is the vibes I'm getting from him. It is amazing. And I'm putting back the music on because I want to hear it. Oh, never mind. Didn't need to hear it because it's like, meh. <laughs> It's like, oh, happy good lucky life. Nothing epic. <laughs> That's just gnarly how this opening, like, takes you from this banger scene, super epic, extreme, violent, and then it's like, oh, happy village time. <laughs> We're having fun. We're playing hopscotch. <laughs> Gosh. Look at that, we got babies. We got hobgoblins hooking up, making babies, growing the population. I wonder if this is like another symbolism that how we're gonna build the city, we're gonna increase the population. <laughs> well, of course we are. If we're gonna follow the story, then that would mean that as we're expanding with the story, we're getting in different races, building the city, which totally reminds me of Nino Kuni too. And I really liked the the city building. That was really fun. Especially when you even in Isekai memories, you do that too. You like build currency and you're like, ooh, now I have leveled up my civilization and now I can build these other houses for my other residents. Ooh, now my population grew. I can build more stores. Ooh, we got different kinds of stores. Ooh, we got different kinds of restaurants. What? So yeah, that'd be really interesting. Especially if we're going to use those resources from the stores to help with our playable characters with the RPG. Like, we're not just going to be harvesting our resources, like scavenging as we're exploring. We're getting it from our civilization so over here if you guys notice his outfit this is the outfit that we see from the that time it got reincarnated as a slime slice of life or diaries that time i got reincarnated as a slime di slime diaries this is the outfit he was wearing. So, ooh. so, I'm just wondering how, what timeline does this fit in the anime series? You know what I mean? Like, of course, we kind of know what's going on. And of course, we kind of know where it is if you read the light novel. It's just that. I'm a visual person, so I want to see where the timeline is. Oh, gosh. I'm, like, so into this. Now, the other part that I'm interested in is that we do have the other worlders running with Rimuru. Like, where's that goblin that's going to be out for revenge? Where? I want to see him part of this group. Does that mean he dies? Like, does does he not end up with us? <laughs> or does that mean we get these other worlders first, they become part of our party, and then we encounter the Goblin Arc, or then we finish that arc, the Goblin's Revenge arc, that story. It's like, okay, we got this main story done. Now we got this bonus story. Next chapter... And it's sort of like, well, wait, it's not done. Now you can play with these other world or characters in the Goblin Revenge arc. 
Maybe I'm reaching. Let me guys, let me know what you guys think. Over here, I'm wondering if this is like an indication of how the Druid Tempest Federation is gonna look like after. So what time is this at? One. Okay, so we're at this time over here. One twenty seven one minute twenty seven minute twenty seven seconds. And over here it looks bare, right? It's like, oh we got a plot of land here. And then in this part, we got oh, it's all built now. It's like before and after. Interesting, in my opinion, that they're showing this in the opening. Like, giving us a lot of hints of what's going on. Very excited for this. And that is our reaction to uh, that time I got reincarnated as a slime isekai chronicles anime opening trailer yes trailer <laughs> i almost said, called it the trailer what did you guys think about it did you like seeing that they had like some flashes some memories showing of the anime from the wolves to the kaiju to the dragon dudes and the orcs and all kinds of stuff did you like seeing the new characters like the other worlders and that goblin for the goblin revenge arc i know i did i was more hyped about that to be honest and i'm wondering if that's actually the focus because i thought they were going to show some action of the other worlders because they kind of made like they were going to be really important you know however they show some epicness from that goblin's revenge arc so i'm really interested in that and the city building i'm gonna have so much fun with that i feel like the city building will make it feel more engaging because those of us who read the manga read the novel watched the anime we're going to relive through the story and i'm thinking the building of the city is to make us feel more involved and not be like oh i already know this story because honestly when i was playing uh is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon it kind of had that visual novel kind of feel when i was playing that game and i was thinking i already know what's going on however they were showing different points of views from the other clans and whatnot so that made it interesting now in tensura this one we're actually going to go through the stories again fight them go through the fighting scenes and build the city village and city or draw tempest federation we're going to rebuild that and it looks like they're going to add some other elements like we got a burger joint we got a ramen joint or curry it's called curry curry muru and so if you've played the isekai memories they have such interesting shops like there's like a boxing shop there's an arcade shop there is like a dessert shop there's a clothing shop like all kinds that were specialized and had like really cool themes i believe when we saw the teaser the trailer for the game it showcased that there was going to be some type of like theme park so that one is interesting like there's like a ferris wheel or something it was like slime theme it was like a slime amusement park so i'm actually looking forward to that like all these different special items venues locations stores whatever we're gonna get super excited for it also the gameplay oh it's gonna be so fun 
Besides that, let me know what you guys thought about this. Let me know what you thought about this video. Leave your comments below. And if you also want to venture more into anime and manga, I host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime and manga. We also interview people in the anime industry. So if you're interested in that, links to the podcast will be in the description below. Other than that, my name is Lahula, and this is a Superfina channel reacting to that time I got reincarnated as a slime Isekai Chronicles anime opening trailer. Hope you guys like this video, and we'll see you on the next one. Ahoy ho!